kids who participated in the rally, do you think they were actors? No, sir. I know they were not actors. They were, and how do you know they well, were not? Because I know the children from that area. I've taught in that area. I taught in Florida for a long time. Okay. They are, in fact, from a wealthy area. Okay. Let's call it a spade a spade. They're from a wealthy, white, Jewish neighborhood. Okay, these people have lots of money, they pay lots of school taxes, they have the best and the best and the best. Their children should be all children, not their children. The children down here in the little church school should be protected, okay? You know, uh, there was a mass shooting, of course, down in Florida, where a young man, 19 years old, uh, went into a school and killed 17 people, allegedly, and wounded many others. Uh, it was reported to the FBI at least twice that this boy had made some type of suggestion of uh, being a school shooter, and yet the FBI failed to do anything about it. And now the children of the lie are coming out of the woodwork and using these children at the school there in Florida to take away our Second Amendment, to take away the guns. And the people who are doing this they have bodyguards, they live behind gated communities, and they carry firearms. And if they don't carry them themselves, their bodyguards do. But for the normal people, regular folks, they say, no, you don't have a right to have a gun. No, they don't like the Second Amendment. You need to be wide open for criminals to take your life. We are better than you. We are the elitist, nor the elite, and we look down on you and we tell you how to live. We are going to control you. You are not allowed to protect your family, yourself. Listen to us and follow what we want, and we are going to do whatever it takes to make sure that you don't have the First Amendment nor the Second and any other amendment that gets in the way of us controlling you. This is the mentality of the children of the lie. So welcome to the Father's Day. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. We are at the so-called March for Our Lives gun rally, when in reality, it's against the Second Amendment. They want to take away our rights to bear ourselves. So we are here today to talk to some of these stupid young kids who have no idea what they're doing or why they're here. They've been used by the elitist Democratic Party and the, the media people like Oprah, Oprah, George Clooney and others. So we want to talk to some of these dumb kids to see if they really know why they're here. They don't realize they've been brainwashed and being used. Oh, how old are you? How are you? You're nine. And why are you here? To represent my school. And, and what, what, what do you want to happen? Or any for the violence? Um, I, I think that they're allowing people to buy guns and they're not wanting to do anything about this. They're just kind of like. They train the people so that they know how to handle it. So do you blame them for the violence? Uh, yes, I do. Do, do you blame the NRA? A hundred percent. So I need each and every one of you, no matter your age, to continue to fight alongside us because hearts cannot pump without blood and I don't want your community to join the ghastly inner circle that mine is now a part of. So, so you are the mother to all these children, right? I'm the mother to two. Except me. friend, Except yet. <laughs> and why are you here today? I am here because after Parkland, I actually got out of my car every single day and hugged them and cried. But I mean, I've been I've been politically active since Ferguson. I totally changed my politics. So you were, you were against guns? Now I am, yes. Okay. Why are you here? 
um, because I want to stand up for everybody who can't speak and anybody who isn't here today to stand up for themselves. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. And why are you here? I'm here because a lot of uh, black children or kids are dying every day just because of guns <laughs> and I want that to stop. How old are you? 17. And why are you here? I'm here also the same as them because stuff needs to change in order for living life to be okay. Like stuff that's happening today is not okay. Murders, kids dying, school shootings, it's not okay. And how old are you? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And so do you want to ban guns? Um, I just need stricter gun laws in general because kids who can't go to the bar and get a drink are able to buy murder weapons to go and kill people. That's. Do you want to get rid of all guns? Um, no, mostly guns that, like, the, this kind of gun, the one that just refills and just kills people, just brrr, super fast. Who told you to be here today? Um, well, I've got lots of flyers that, about that it's happening, and it's just a, a good, it's a good thing to come and show, stand up for what you believe in and show the world. Do you want to ban all guns? No, I just want stricter laws on them. Just want stricter laws like what for example like uh, not everyone should be able to buy a gun you have to have like certain rules to be able to get a gun who told you to be here today myself <laughs> <laughs> why, why uh, do you want to ban all guns um like Della, she said i don't want to ban all of them i just want to have stricter gun laws and harsher ways to get them like how um japan they have multiple mental tests uh, to make sure that you are worthy to have a gun and you have to get them re-identified every three years i just want them to be harder to get so they're not put into the wrong hands who told you this about guns how did you learn to speak that way about guns uh, I research myself. But the Second Amendment, have you heard of the Second Amendment? No, I'm not. Have you heard of the Second Amendment? No. Have you? Oh, the Second Amendment to the Constitution gives you the right to bear arms. If you're an American citizen, you don't need a reason to have a gun. You have the right to do it. Do you agree with that? You don't like to have freedom? I like, I like to have freedom, but I don't think that you have to you want the teachers to be armed so that the criminal cannot come into the school and kill you? No, I think that the that guns should just be stopped anyway, and I think that the guns should the teachers should have guns too, so if the kids get hurt, then the teachers can shoot them. So you think the teachers should have guns too? Do you yeah. think that the children that are participating in the rally here in this country are actors? Do you think they're actors? Absolutely not, because you can see it coming from their heart, and what comes from the heart touches people's hearts, and it was certainly moving for the whole country. I mean, basically they're saying, you know, they've come into this world and they're going, ah, what have you done to it? You know, you, you've, you adults have messed it up, you know, so we're taking over, you know, so, and, that sort of, and that takes a lot of courage. You know, I mean, look at the state of this country, if, if the children, because out of the mouth of babes, the truth comes, right? The so children, I mean, but the children don't know anything about the Second Amendment. They don't even understand the Second Amendment. Well, the Second Amendment is like to have the rights to protect yourself in case the government goes crazy. But hey, it's all going crazy anyway. You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying. And um, uh, do you think we need to? Do you, are you a citizen? You live here now in the states. I have a permanent resident. You know, I won the green card lottery. Oh, good. And so, do you think that we need to ban the Second Amendment? How do you feel about the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms? I just think that, you know, it, it's not necessary. Those who live by the sword will die by the sword, and that's what's happening. You can change it to gun, you know, those who live by the gun. If everyone is all walking around going, well, you got a gun, i got a gun, and everyone's all pointing at each other, I mean, what a world is that? And so, so you think we need to get rid of the Second Amendment? Get rid of guns, you know, why do you need to kill things and get rid of all this conditioning of kill, 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 simulation. So when I was growing up in Alabama on a plantation under the Jim Crow laws, we had guns. As a matter of fact, when I turned 15 years old, uh, my grandmother and grandfather gave me a rifle. And I was so excited. It was like those Jewish kids, when they become 12 or 13, they become adult, they have this party thing. For me, it was getting my first rifle. And I opened, got up on my birthday, opened up to get, it was my rifle. I went right out into the woods, I had never shot a gun prior to that, and killed a squirrel. I did not need training. I did not need my, no one was worried about me shooting up people because we had morals, we had values, we understood right from wrong during those days. And these godless liberals who are trying to take away your guns, 
They want to control you. Don't fall for it. Whenever the children of the lie want to control you, they get you very angry or very happy. And either way, they got you. All right? Just be aware of that. Because what they want to do is really destroy the Second Amendment. They don't want you to be able to protect yourself. Second Amendment? Yes. You want to ban, get rid of it. Yes. How about the Second Amendment? You want to get rid of the Second Amendment? Yes. You want to get rid of it? Yes. You want to take away the rights of others to bear arms? That's amazing. Do you want to end the Second Amendment? You want to ban all guns? We can't go with all guns. We just because it's children. There's still adults who are getting killed too. Um, gun just does more harm, violence does more harm, you don't fight violence with violence, and I believe that 100% what you're asking for, because if you arm teachers, they're going to pull the same crap that cops pull, they're going to say they feared for their lives from a student of color, and you won't get any, my daughter is half black, and she will be singled out in her classroom full of white students. Do you want to ban all guns? Ban every last one of them. <laughs> Seriously, because if I could do it, I would do it myself. I don't think you necessarily need a gun to protect yourself, and taking away their amendment will not be punishing them, because if you do not have guns in the first place, then you will not need guns to protect yourself. So if I don't have a gun, if I don't have a gun in, in my home and I live in the hood, and some black person come through my door to try to kill my kids, what, how, how will I defend my kids? Use your resources. You throw over the guy. You use a table. You use a chair. What happens if he has a gun? No shade. <laughs> you most likely stole the gun from somebody. No, but how, how will I protect myself from him if he break it into my home to kill my children and he has a gun? If he has a gun, then... Oh, that's a hard question. Do you think we need to ban guns? I definitely think we need to ban guns after... With these numerous shootings that have happened, I think it's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. I believe a knife is more effective than a gun within three feet because that is a statistic. You don't, you don't mean this, do you? Yes, I do. It's a fact. Do you want to get rid of the Second Amendment? Do you want to get rid of all guns? I don't want to get rid of all guns, but I believe that you should be older than 18, so as for 21, to be more responsible with what you're doing. And so if, um, if someone break into your house, you're yeah. sleeping, and you don't have a gun, and they do, how would you protect your, yourself and your family? If they had a gun and I didn't? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> dude, you got me there. Yeah. So, dude, I'm bad at this. No, you're doing good. You're just... For all those big-ass fucking Republicans who want to say that, and the NRA, that guns don't kill, people do, well, fuck, man, if you don't give that man that gun, then he can't kill anybody, can he? So the Second Amendment clearly needs to be revised, okay? It is absolutely fair and just that people should be able to protect themselves. But here in the United States, we have a big, huge army. We have more people to protect us than we need, than we know. If we would put down those guns for a little while, we'd have living human beings instead of baby corpses. I, did, I believe in God, that God will make a way for us to come out of that situation safely. Well, he made a way. He made it so you can have a right to bear arms. Well, I don't think God made it for a right to, to bear arms. I think that's a human thing made up. I don't think God had anything to do with Really? Bearing on so for you us. want to get rid of all guns? I really do. If I've been that way since I was a little wee kid, I, I hate guns. I always yeah. hated guns. I think we should arm the teachers. Um, if some, if they're up for it, you know, they have to be trained. They have to be, you know, government do a background check and what have you. I know in Israel they have their arm, their teachers, you know, and they, it seems to work for them. They've not had any mass shootings at the school, right. so. 
Do you want to ban the Second Amendment? No. Like I said, they, they can't blame the amendments because that's what made America great. Right. So that they can't do that because if you try to get rid of one amendment, then you're going to try to get rid of the fifth and the seventh and the ninth and the twelfth and the thirteenth and the fourteenth. So all the amendments must stay. I can't say no, they don't have the right to bear arms. Okay, the second half of your question was... And do they have a right to be members of the NRA? I don't give a hell. I don't care what you're a member of. I don't care if you're a member of my toes or prettier than yours. So you didn't vote for him? Oh, excuse me? No. <laughs> no. No way on. Can I say there's no way yeah. on this earth? I was going to say no way in hell. It's ridiculous. What makes the United States such a great place is that we're a melting pot and we have different, different religions, different areas of people, Amazing. different races, and he wants to take that away. He just wants white men and women, and the women, they, he doesn't treat right as well. He sees them as objects, and that's how do you, ridiculous. One last thing, how do you feel about black people? They hate white people, so they hate you too. And you haven't done anything to them. Is that right for them to hate you? Racism is something that someone is not born with. It's something that's taught. But is it right for them to hate you simply because you're white? You haven't done anything. I mean, I can definitely see after what African Americans and other races have gone through, whether it be slavery. But they or haven't gone through slavery. They just don't have. Their ancestors have, though. Oh, and and even now today, I'm sure as as a colored man yourself, you've gone through someone being racist towards you. No, never. Really? Yeah. I've had someone be racist to me. A black person? No. A, a Mexican? No. A white person? other white people just in general it's just it's a matter of fact that no matter the race the mature people are going to be colorblind and and not take that person <laughs>
Where's she going? Where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, look at her. She's crazy. Hey, just turn around. Don't even engage. Turn around. Look, she's still doing it. You don't think I had a freedom? Yeah, but you don't have to black people don't have the freedom to speak? You don't have to get in people's space. Black people don't have the freedom to speak? These people are peaceful. Do black people have the freedom to speak? You know what? Everybody. Do black people everybody, have freedom to speak? You're not everybody. answering that question. That you're including everybody. Black, my mom, if I came to start with a blue people. society, okay? You I've heard blues people. men living in my house my entire life, no. so don't you dare you insult me. Black, I, you just I hate love black people. black people, and you're lying. Do, do you hate the Spanish too? This woman hate black people. She hate black people. She hate black people. She, she said I shouldn't be here. Black people shouldn't be here. No, 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 yeah. She hate black people. She hate black people. She does. She does. She said black shouldn't be here. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. You're a liar. Are you okay with that? You're a liar. Do you believe black shouldn't be here? You are lying. Do you believe black should be here? Stop lying. No, answer the question. Stop lying. I'm part black. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're Mexican. Okay, what? No, please. You're everybody want me black. You're Mexican. You know that? No. I don't know what you're saying. No. You lying. You lying. You hate black people. Oh my God. If that's what you want to believe, it's true. Do you hate black people? Of course not. Then why are you doing this harassing me? Look, look. I don't even know what that is. That's not me. That is. Is that me? Is that me? No. Why should you call me a black person? Because. Why? Why? Because a I like am an animal? Brown, what? I'm and walking for black and white. Do you see me like an animal? And, okay. and so you show me another black animal? Yeah, you know what? She's showing me another black animal. Why? This is a black human being. No, why black are you showing that to me? I'm saying we're walking but show with white all people. brothers and show sisters. Show that to white people. Here, yeah, don't, yeah. don't engage with him. Don't do that. That's why we're here today. We're fighting for the Second Amendment, not against it. These kids are dumb. They're stupid. Their parents should be ashamed to sacrifice their children to the lying liberals, to the children of the lies in the way that they're doing. Second 
contagious right there? Yeah. You gotta take that to a doctor and have it looked at. Yeah. You gotta take that to a doctor and have it looked at. Man, you can cover up my face. So there you have it. We talked to a few people today about it. You heard them, they're not for it. A couple were for it, but most people don't care about banning. They want to ban guns. They're not thinking straight. They want to ban guns. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing more of this, getting what you think about the Second Amendment. It's so interesting to me that all of a sudden, the adults are trusting the children. We never trusted the children before, but we can trust them when it comes to the Second Amendment. That's mind-blowing. So we're going to be getting more of this. And thank you. Don't forget to follow, like, tweet, and whatever else. Subscribe. Subscribe. All right. Out. You speak English? Petit little. Petit little? Oh, okay. Petit little.